What have I done? Oh, what the? F Where's all the trees go, man? All right, give me that. Oh, f oh my God! All right, so welcome to a game called Lamp Post. This is based on SCP-5005, where it's just about a fluorescent light or some sort of lamp post. I don't really know the whole description of this SCP, but I do know that there's something very mysterious about it, and it's just very questionable. And I do know that this is a horror game, so I'm ready to play and see what this creator's got for this SCP, because there's very many SCPs out there. There's many, many SCPs, many. There's like for the ideas that you can make out of them to make horror games it's not really the best because you know they're, they're hard to make they're hard to make games on SCP let's jump into this shall we oh what's this oh hmm Recent SCP activity was discovered by the locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP-5005, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct the research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumours, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that it comes in contact with it. Ah! That's what it does. <laughs> oh, Dr. Hayden. Our intel suggests that this is a Keter class SCP, which means that it's difficult to contain. We should be very careful with observing this object. Okay. Okay. SCP-5005 doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by a forest, yet the objects in this area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain these objects. Here is an analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequency signals. Use it to find those objects affected by the lamppost and collect them. So it's, it's a, what's it called? A K2 meter. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case if anything happens and Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Collect at least the five samples, report to Dr. Cooper and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost and good luck. Oh! Alright. Oh my god, they've got movements. Oh, this is so cool. I can barely walk though. You, you just got your, your gas mask up, yeah? Oh, oh fuck. I have came in contact with that. What am I doing? Oh, nothing's happening. I'm not dying. I'm not dying. What's up? What's up with that? I think this is just a picture of a K2 meter and I've just used it. All right. Is this it? Oh, the, the cup. Right. There's a floppy disk. There's some mushrooms. So are the items just scattered around everywhere? Yeah. All right, I've got this. Is this one of them? Yep, just keep an eye on that lamppost back over there. Just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Is this one? No, surprisingly not. That is a shovel with blood. Why? More mushrooms. A tape. Aha. Gas canister. Or a jerry can. A book. How many have I collected? Three? I don't know how many I've collected. Probably three. Oh, Dr. Hayden. Is there anything else? Aha. There we are. What is this? Is this like a pile of rubbish or something? I don't fucking know. I'm not caring. Is this one? Yes, lads. There we go. Report to Dr. Cooper. Where are you? Oh, you're there. Right, hi. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not wonder where where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Well, hi! No one is allowed in this area, yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere, maybe even from another dimension? Your analog mountain here is picking up high frequency. Damn! Oh no, the lamppost. What? Oh! Oh! Alright. Hello? Oh, oh, find a way out. Oh, no. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of photons create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object or a person disappear. Oh, I don't know. I <laughs> Oh, hi, how are you? Why are you just standing there like a creepy bastard? The fuck you want? Are these bones yours by any chance? Lad. Seems like something's walking. The fuck. Is something walking? The computer, though. Oh, is that a uh, thingy? What's it called? 
That SCP. Can't remember that SCP's name. God. Oh, look, tapes. All right. Hello. Oh, well. Bye-bye. Mm. Not going that way. More bones. A door. Oh, what way? I'm going right. I shouldn't have went right. Oh, Coco. And a skull. <laughs> it just goes right into another loop. There's another computer. Oh, Dr. Hayden. Hello? Are you okay? Nah, I don't think he's okay. I, th I, th I think he's gone, man. He's gone. He smacked his head against the wall, man. Ah! To observe it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Were you behind me? All right. <laughs> I moonwalked on your ass. To any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye, it will vanish, but appear once more. We call it the photon shadow, which was created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever, without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Oh, well, that's horrible. I don't like that. There's a door again. All right, let's go this way. Sometimes a lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. Also, that just sounds like a weeping angel to me. Like, what else does that not sound like a weeping angel to you? If you know, if you watch Doctor Who, you know about weeping angels. That is a perfect, perfect example of a weeping angel. <laughs> it can either send you back in time or kill you forever. No one knows what happened to those who returned, but one thing is clear that these people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can heal the shadow figure it whispers your name it suffocates your flesh and feeds with hope when it's done there is nothing left of you all right there we go fuck off my guy fuck off oh, jesus well we turned to the lamppost i don't know where that was where was that where was the lamppost was it over here no it wasn't over here where was the lamppost man was it over here yeah hello go to the lamppost i'm at the lamppost oh oh no what have i done oh Oh. What the fuck? Where's all the trees go, man? All right. Give me that. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. That is not okay. Oh. Game by Niven Hedegar. Yes, lad. I didn't even know that was you that made this game. This guy suggested one of my games. Fucking love you, by the way. Love you. You suggested my game. I love you. So design and story by Niven Hedegaard. Based on SCP Foundation lore. Thanks to you for playing. You gotta close the game. Yeah, you closed the fucking game. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good game. Based on SCP, as I said, it's very hard to create a game based on any SCP. I'm still waiting to see one created on SCP-173. I'm waiting for that. Like, why has no one made that yet? Like, it's just a, a weeping angel effect you need to do. Like, so it's like a mannequin thing where you look away and it moves and blah, blah, blah. That stuff like that. I like it. I like any SCP game that, is, that gets released. Any of them, because they're all very, 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 very good. All of them in the SCP Foundation community are very lovely people. They all try and do their best to make games that are focused around each SCP and whenever there is one now I'll play them there is uh, a few other ones which is SCP-087 which is the staircase with the face I think I'm not entirely sure there are so many in them and I don't know what one's the best so if you guys did enjoy the video then to leave a like down below and maybe consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys in the next one peace